Hi, everybody. This is Lainey. Hope you all are well. In this video, I will be talking about Tulsa, Oklahoma, a hundred years later, after the Greenwood Massacre. First, I want to start off with Viola Ford Fletcher and her statement to Congress on the week of May 19th, 2021. In her words, I was seven when the bombing happened. First time ever visiting Washington, D.C. is now. She stated, I'm here in Washington for justice and asking the country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. On May 31st, 1921, I went to bed in Greenwood in a beautiful home. I had friends to play with and my brother and I felt safe. She had everything as a child, everything a child could need, a bright future ahead of her. Within a few hours, all of that was gone. The night of the massacre, I was awakened by my family. My parents and five siblings were there. I was told we had to leave. I will never forget the violence of the white mob when we left our home. I still see black men being mocked, black bodies lying in the street. I still smell smoke. I still see black businesses being buried. I still hear the airplanes flying overhead. I hear the screams. I live through the massacre every day. The country may have forgotten this history, but I can never forget. When my family was forced to leave Tulsa, I lost out on getting an education. I never went to school past the fourth grade. I have never made much money in my country. The state and city took a lot from me. Most of my life, I was a domestic worker serving white families. To this day, I can barely afford everyday needs. Tulsa has unjustly used the name of people like me. I am 107 years old and I have never seen justice. I pray that one day I will. I, am, I have been blessed with a long life and I have seen the best and worst of this country. I think about the horrible inflection of black people in this country every day. For 70 years, the leaders of Tulsa told us the massacre didn't happen and they did not see it within their own eyes. You see me here now and there are others here, including my brother. We live this history. We can't ignore it. It still lies with us. We lost everything that day. Our home, our church, our newspapers, our theaters, our lives. Greenwood had was best for black people in America. No one cared about us for almost 100 years. We have been forgotten. This Congress of the United States must recognize our history for white America and all Americans must now show us justice. Thank you. Her testimony, if we don't learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. Now I would like to give you a little bit of history of how the uh, massacre started in the first place. A young man, teenage man, named Dick Rowland was on the verge of being lynched. He was accused of attacking a white girl in an elevator. He was arrest arrested on South Greenwood Avenue, attempting to assault a 17-year-old white elevator girl in the Drexel building. The wh young white girl was an elevator operator in the building where he worked. Rumor has it that he tripped and with the force of gravity, after he tripped, his hand stretched out and touched the young white girl. 
and it was viewed as an assault. A mob of white protesters arrived at the courthouse demanding to get inside to kill the young black man. Black men arrived at the courthouse as well to protect young Dick Rowland, who was in, in a jail cell inside of the courthouse. Thousands of white people stormed the Greenwood community in Tulsa. They destroyed 36 blocks. 36 blocks. What were in those 36 blocks, you ask? Good question. There was a library, grocery stores, restaurants, doctor's office, offices, dentist's office, a post office, a surgeon office, schools, hotels, bars, fine jewelry, theaters. Yes, it was the Black Wall Street. They were living the American dream. Blacks from the South, including the Delta of Mississippi, migrated to Tulsa, to the Greenwood community. The white mob just wanted to eliminate the Greenwood community. Law enforcement did not protect the blacks in Tulsa. Instead, they gave the white mob guns and told them to go have at it. And that's exactly what they did. They burned over 1,200 private homes, looted hundreds more, but didn't burn them. Law enforcement did round up thousands of black people and lock them up on the local fairgrounds for days. The first 24 hours was 24 hours of pure hell for the African-American community. Eventually, all charges against Dick Rowland were dropped. An investigation proved that he hadn't done anything wrong. You had a group of white people that were very upset that African Americans were truly living the American dream. And the federal government refused to investigate what happened in Tulsa back on May 21st. 1921. There were over 10,000 African Americans that lived in the Greenwood community and it was growing by the day. There were a lot of World War I survivors that lived in the community as well. After the bombing, insurance companies refused to pay the black community for their damages. And they are, there are still mass graves in Greenwood today. People that attempted to research what happened in 1921 were threatened as late as the 1970s. For 50 years, the white community covered up the massacre. Records were stolen and destroyed. Articles were cut out of newspaper. White newspapers went out of their way to not mention the massacre for 50 years. And the African-American community didn't want to talk about the massacre because they were in fear of the white community and what would happen to them if they did speak out. And also, it was just a lot of trauma that day. Tulsa just lost its sense of honesty. And the governor of Oklahoma doesn't want uh, what happened in 1921 to be published because he said he doesn't want this generation to feel guilty for what happened to the African American community in 1921. Well, my question to that is, what about the people, my ancestors, that lived through the massacre? How are we supposed to feel? It was a manuscript that contained the long-lost eyewitness account 
of the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921. Part of it reads, the sidewalks were literally covered with bombing of turpentine balls or turpentine balls. Black people were machine gunned down in the streets. And this was from an attorney. The manuscript was in such good condition. It was covered and up with plastic. And this attorney said, I could see planes circling in the midair. They grew in numbers and horn, mm, 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 darted and dipped low. I could hear something like hail falling up on the top of my office building down East Archer. I saw the old Midway Hotel on fire, burning from its top, and then another and another and another buildings began to burn from all their tops. 20 years ago, Tulsa refused to give survivors of the massacre reparations. Instead, they gave them a gold-plated medal. How can you repay people that lost everything they had with a, a, a medal? They weren't athletes. They didn't serve uh, as no politicians. Like the young lady said, Mrs. Fletcher, she only went up to the fourth grade. Her education stopped. It ceased at the fourth grade. She was robbed. And you're going to give them a gold medal? But Dr. King said it best. A lie across the earth can't live forever. It lived for a long time, but now we're seeing what really happened. And, and, and it was the white community that didn't want this to get out. It was the white community that did everything in their power to make sure that this getting out. Because I remember hearing about this 30, 40 years ago. So when someone say to African-Americans, why are you burning down your own neighborhood? Tell them, I told you, your own neighborhood was burned down in 1921 and no one paid the price for it. Yes, Black Wall Street was burned down in 1921 on May 31st. Question is, why wasn't Greenwood ever duplicated in the African-American community? One last note, Charlie Wilson and the Gap Band wrote a song years ago. You dropped the bomb on me. An effort to bring attention to what blacks had faced back in 1921. Gap is for Greenwood, Archer, and Pine, mainly where the massacre took place. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace, peace, deuces,